Hey guys! In this video we're making the double layered elastic bracelet. This one has two laps around with the elastic cord and a really secure knot so it makes a nice strong bracelet. For this design you need beads that have a big enough hole. So I've got some silver beads here and some four millimeter seed beads. You can see these normal gemstone beads only have a one millimeter hole. So our thread is a 0.7 millimeter elastic cord. If we lap that over two times, it gets bigger than one millimeter. So obviously it won't fit in those holes. So you do need holes in your beads that are big enough to fit two layers of cording. For this double layered bracelet, we need about 60 centimeters of our 0.7 millimeter elastic cord. And I pop a clip on the end so we don't lose our beads. We've also pre-stretched our cord, so I pulled it out nice and tight so that it's already stretched. Now it's really helpful if you have a beading needle for this design. So I've got one that's flexible and opens in the center. Placing the end of my cord in one side of the needle, and then I can thread my beads onto the needle, beading down to about 19 or 20 centimeters. Once you've got all your beads on, we bring this elastic around to start to form the bracelet shape. Now you're going to place your needle with the elastic through the beads again, gently working it around and placing it through all those beads. This is why you need the beads with the bigger holes. Working your way around your whole bracelet until you come out at the starting point. Once you're back at the start and your elastic cord has come through all the beads twice, then you can take your needle off the cord and gently pull those ends a little bit and work the threads and the beads down so that there's no slack in the elastic cord and the beads are quite close together on that first layer. Once your beads are sitting nicely on the elastic, we can tie our knot. So starting with a surgeon's knot, we place the left side cord on top of the right side and bring this top cord around the right side two times to form a twist. Pulling that down between the beads. And then we place the right side cord on top of the left side and bring that around the left side one time, pulling that down tight as well. Now you wanna just work that elastic cord on all sides of the knot, pulling it nice and tight. Now you'll see here that the knot is only on one layer of your elastic cord. So we wanna bring one of the tails around inside the bracelet to collect that other cord as well. And then we're going to tie another surgeon's knot. So once you've collected that other cord, then start with your left side cord on the top and then bring this cord around the right hand side two times to form a twist. Pulling that down between the beads and then placing the right side on top of the left and bringing that around the left side one time. Pulling that down nice and tight onto that first twist. Now working your elastic cording on all the different angles coming out from the knot. Now I repeat that last step again, so bringing one thread underneath through the bracelet to collect that other cord, and then another surgeon's knot. So left side over the right side and bringing it around two times. Pulling that down tight. And then right side over the left, bringing that around one time and pulling that tight as well. Making sure that knot's pulled nice and secure on every angle. You should be able to see if your knot's going to stay tight by gently pulling the beads apart. If it stays tight, then you're good to go. If you're happy with it, then you can come in with some jewellery glue 
placing a little bit onto that knot. Then you can cut your tails off nice and short and slide that knot under one of your beads. And there's your double layered elastic bracelet with two loops around.